Hello and welcome to our Packing for Disney World video. It is Saturday the 31st of August and we go in two days time, three days time. We fly, yeah, on, we Tuesday. fly on Tuesday to Florida. So we have 10 nights at Disney's All-Star Sports, Sports. Re Resort. Yeah, we stayed at Music the last time we did a full-on Disney, I nearly say video, I mean holiday. We went in 2022. When we stayed on site for Time. Yeah, but every time we've been to Disney World since, we've been piggybacking off of our tickets extended that tickets got extended thanks to Hurricane Ian. So we've also got Horror Nights booked. So we are doing one night at Horror Nights with the what, Express Pass because yeah. one night we're going to get as much done as gonna we can. Do it properly. And we're getting old. We can't do more than one night of Horror Nights and still do a holiday properly. So. That is the plan. Can't be doing all this staying up late and getting oh, up early. No. Not burning the candle at birthday. No. We've mostly packed our cases, but we're going to do a little rundown of everything we packed. And more of a what's in your suitcase. Yeah, pretty much what's in my suitcase and but his let's suitcase. let's call it a packing video. It is, well, we still have stuff to pack and organise. There's stuff to take out as well because there's bits that we don't really need. And we'll go through that all with you. Yeah. So, let's get the ball rolling and... Before you watch all this, there's always a pre-travel video before travel day. Not many people realise. I don't know why I chose to whisper. Now people won't be able to hear they it. They will because look, I'm mic'd up. Oh. So we're filming this in parts because today's been a busy day. And we've had other things going on as well. So we'll show you what's in my cases first. Uh, this shouldn't take very long. I don't have a lot of stuff in my he, cases. Yeah, he just has an it luggage carry-on carry-on thing i always seem to use the same carry-on case you switch between different ones but we'll see that in yeah. a little bit is there i would like cat? to see the baby hi yeah that's about all we're gonna get from her until she jumps on the case in a minute my suitcase i will turn it this way so you can see better we have some packing cubes we usually use packing cubes to keep everything all nice and organized so i uh I won't go too much into it, but underwear, delicates, socks, that kind of thing. I have myself t-shirts. He's missing one of those t-shirts that are supposed to be in there because I've got the master list. So he's going to have to go find the t-shirt. Let's see if he gets it. Do, 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 do. I don't know what that was, but this is the t-shirt I was missing, my fallout top, which Over. for those of you who watched our last trip will probably know that I bought this in... Topic. Yeah, it was Hot Topic. Yeah, because when we went away on our honeymoon part one, Fallout the TV show had only just come out. So. And I am still a big fan. Yeah. That's a very good TV show. We haven't re-watched it. We did say in the videos that we were going to re-watch it, but... We haven't had time. No, we've been Life watching Life is vlogs. busy. A Disney Cruise Line top that I got last January, so January 2023, when we went on our cruise. There's a nice sprinkling of Disney nice and some crease. nice creases. Then I have my Ghostbusters Frozen Empire t-shirt. Yeah. Guess when he's going to wear that. <laughs> Horror Nights might be a good opportunity. She Boy. loves that top. He always talks about yeah, that top. That, top that was, was a Walmart good. special, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that this time Walmart has some good tops as well. Because their tops and are like 6 to $8, depending on where you get them. They are very like, reasonable. I've got some cool horror ones in there before, so fingers crossed. I mean, I'm sure we're bound Don't to find some. Don't judge me on how well this is rolled up. So. And then a shorts, which they're just your shorts backup shorts. shorts yeah. Yeah. And then the only other thing I have in my carry-on is my sandals, which will probably be my daily driver. Yeah. So the only bits he's really missing for here is his car mount, just in case the hire car doesn't have android auto he can then just clip his phone up and his electric toothbrush people online watching this never put your electric toothbrush in your checked case because if it sets on fire the plane goes down <laughs> i don't really know what happens that's just what happens no, in my it, mind it, it, so it's more that you shouldn't put lithium batteries in your checked luggage so fly safe kids so if it's a non-lithium battery i guess do what you want follow the airline's instructions. 
Oh no, the yellow brick road. But yeah, so we always put half of our clothes in the carry-on going out just in case. So like we're going for ten nights. We have like five socks, five pairs of socks, five pairs of underwear, and he's got five t-shirts and and his shorts and then his uh, sandals. So if anything was to happen with the case, I'm still gonna have clothes to wear. Yeah. So. That is just kind of what we started doing and it works for us. On the way back, we'll just chuck it all in the main case. But if, I mean, as you can see what he packs in there, if we didn't do that, he'd have an empty carry-on. We have become quite like packers. So I don't know how, because I was always a massive overpacker. I mean, I overpack my handbags and stuff, but for holiday, I will make sure there's every bit of room for bringing stuff back. I'm not one of these going out with a 23 kilo bag, people. Right, so another top tip for people. We bought these before we went on our very first trip and they are still going strong. Always take a pair of scales, then it won't come as a nasty shock when you get to the airport and they want to charge you lots of money. Yeah. So they just allow you to weigh your luggage, which mine is not very heavy right now. It is four kilos. Four kilos. And how much are we allowed for this case? I feel like the carry-ons are ten. So I think that's, that's what it said. six kilos worth of merch. Okay, so now onto your case. My case is... Oh, that, that just went on the mic, so enjoy that in your ears. Mine came from the Disney store a while ago. It was on sale. ASMR. I also find it very helpful to... Uh, take hard cases when doing certain holidays because of breakables like on the way home anything that we don't want to put in the check case but is breakable or more fragile or more precious goes in this one and that is basically the biggest size carry-on virgin allows you to take so we didn't say that already but we are going to be flying virgins oh, okay so. the cat is she on the cases hello you where are you going now Tom action can. we And back to you. So I'm not going to pull out these bits because it's delicate and you don't need to see that. It's a family channel. Then I have this lovely spirit Halloween bag that have my croc sandals. It's a beautiful shoe there. So they'll definitely be good for going to Typhoon Lagoon. Yeah, I, I did wear them. La that I got them new before our last trip and I mistakenly wore them to Animal Kingdom on our first day. And that's where Your feet Lister got Ageddon came from. And so Adam's told me I'm not allowed to wear them in the parks. Oh, well, I didn't go that not far. at least the first day. They said maybe go with your sketches to begin with. Would be yeah. a good idea. So then I have my jewellery box. Currently, this is how much jewellery I'm taking. I, because like things like, well, not, I'm not taking this one because I'm not wearing a magnifying glass in a hot country, but some of my other necklaces and bits and bobs, but I tend to really like scale back my everyday jewelry when we go away because fingers swell in the heat. I find it irritating to have that much on me and yeah, but I did make a silver charm necklace that is smaller, that is going to be worn by me so that I don't wear my cords. I say worn by me as if you're gonna wear it, didn't I? <laughs> I didn't think of that. But I'm just gonna give you a little peek inside the locket because I can never find an ability to cut something small enough. I just painted a ghost. So this is the spot that's destined for me, but never is me. Because your face is too big. So I'm taking, these came from Hot Topic last year that no last trip they're just little jars with ghosts in there we go. and those are studs but the these i made them out of charms that i got in hobby lobby last trip as well they're just a key and a lock so but anything like i don't like to, i'll probably take my bracelets but everything i'll just put in there i'm not going to take all my rings well, we thought the cords on your necklaces the last time had stained your dresses, but I'm convinced that might have been the, sun, the chemicals in the sun cream. Yeah. So, um, either way. Much like Adam's carry-on, I will be putting my electric toothbrush in here. We have my clothings. Let's see. 
I mean, not a lot of this is stuff that you haven't seen anyway because creature of habit. I'm basically packing four dresses. So I'm only taking eight dresses. And that's it for holiday because we're planning on doing laundry. And I know if I take other things, I'm just not going to wear them. And I'm not buying two more dresses. I think I have nine dresses. Yeah, she, Autumn knows if you heard her meow. My blue one. Last time I wore this in Florida, I wanted pictures wearing this dress in front of the Nemo thing, but I had a migraine that day and forgot to take photos. So I'm gonna do it again. Have a migraine. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, without unraveling, I've got, this is a dress. It's the exact same shape as that one, but it's little flowers. Very pretty. I do have two of that dress. I basically liked it so much that I went to buy it again, but the the yours doesn't sell them anymore. So I just went on vintage. This is a black dress that I've not worn before, but it's got pockets. It's the same as one I'm about to pack up. Black is not very good for Florida, but I, I, I'm a spooky a girl that wears a lot of black. You'll get a bit toasty. Yeah. Some snag chub rub shorts or anti-chafing shorts. Chub rub's what I call them. They're like almost like a tight material from snag and they're supposed to be sweat wicking and they don't roll up, which I hate it when you wear these like little shorts that roll all the way up and there's like no, hello. All right. <laughs> uh, and this is the other, so the black dress is like this, just without flowers. About a couple of weeks ago, I got new glasses. They're the exact same as my old ones, but new prescription. Um, and because they're still quite new, I'm just gonna take my previous pair just in case. And to go along with that, I'm, I also did the same with sunglasses, but I'm gonna take my previous pair as well. And then I have, so I don't like taking a big backpack into the parks. I like to carry as minimal as possible. So I usually have a side bag and I've decided to take my cruise line lounge fly that I got on our cruise in January. It does go on a belt loop, I assume. That's what that's for. You belt it on your loop, loop it on your belt. <laughs> Or it might be to clip onto another bag or something. I have no know. idea, but hello again. What's wrong? Yeah, doesn't want to be pet. This strap didn't come with the bag. This is like my universal bag strap. It came with a Kipling bag and it is, it was a Kipling bag that can also be a backpack. So the strap is so long, like so long. And at this point, the strap's bigger than that little bag that you've got there. Yeah, but it's my universal bag strap that I use for every side bag. I, I am planning on buying side bags from Spirit Halloween, so. You do like Spirit yeah. Halloween. And I have one packet of Milk Aid, which is very handy for those lactose intolerant people that still want a Disney treat. And then two scrunchies. I, I am gonna take more than these two because I'm planning on not having my hair down this trip and just putting it up on like up here. So two scrunchies. And yeah, that's everything in this carry-on. Right, so we're gonna weigh it now. Well that's saying eleven. Mm. No, I'm reading it wrong. I'm reading the outside number. Yeah, you want to read the inside number. It has pounds and it has kilos on the same. Five thing. kilos. So it's only one kilo heavier than mine. Oh man, go. Oh, anything from the trolley, dears? <laughs> now we're on to Adam's suitcase. It is, it's an it one, isn't it? It was it, until it was this it. label fell off. It's been well used. And this is our, another top tip you can share. So what I have in my suitcase is another suitcase. Neck pillow. It's not gonna live in the suitcase. It's just here for convenience at the moment. Yeah, because we tend to clip them on our backpacks before we go to the airport and or we're not doing that today. So I will get this case out of this case. So this case, while Adam's moving the other one, <clears throat> this case I have had for 10 years this October. I got it in the Art of Animation gift shop when I went to Florida in 2014 with my sister and we had bought way too much stuff. We both didn't drive. We didn't really know about, we went to a Target once, but we were very naive and we didn't think about going to Walmart or anything. We panicked, didn't know where to get a suitcase, but these 
Little Beauties were $200 in the gift shop. So I bought it. And it's, ve it's very scuffed because obviously it's a decade old, but it's still going strong. But yeah, there's a little bit of backstory on my Mickey case. So, in this case, we have, we'll start on this side, we have a frame. Do you want to fill in what the frame is for? Yeah, I will. So, this we've had this since our last trip, but we didn't use it. We got it in Ikea. You've probably seen people do it, but we want to get characters to sign this white bit, and then we'll put a photo in there. So, we are determined to actually do it this year, I mean. And on to the next thing. So, uh, I have another backpack, which we haven't shown, which I travel with. But yeah, I wanted we'll one for later. the parks that was maybe a little bit smaller and compact. And uh, seeing as it's Halloween time. Yeah, this was on sale on the Disney Store website a little while back. And that's why I bought it. I thought it was very... I feel like that was back in 2022. I feel like it was. We're also the kind of people that, if in doubt, there's always Walmart. It's not like you're traveling somewhere that doesn't have... All of these things, like, granted, while we're hiring a car, it's much easier and more convenient for us to just pop in the car and go to Walmart and get bits. Like, if you forget underwear, if you forget deodorant, like, although, I will say, American deodorant, why is it so expensive? Hot take. Yeah, see, even Autumn agreed with that. But yes, on, like, one of your first days, get an Uber, go to Walmart, stock up on things like water. Do not fall in the Dasani trick trap that disney have disani has salt hasn't it in it mm -hmm. designed to dehydrate you in order well, for you to buy more they take water they take all the minerals out of it by purifying it and then apparently they put minerals back into it so i don't necessarily know they i guess they put some salt in it i i mean if you've ever had disani it does taste rancid it's not a nice drink i've it's felt us yeah so your plus is expensive like, you can get a pack of 40 water bottles from Walmart for... Five or six dollars, yeah. I feel like it was the last time we were there. So we always go buy a pack, keep them in the uh, fridge or, what is it, cooler, drink cooler that they have now. Uh, it's close enough to a fridge. And pop a couple in our bags. So, looking at what's in the next pouch then, I have my deodorant. I have my toothpaste, brand new tube. Treat myself. <laughs> I've got tissues. Treat himself. I have a US to UK plug adapter. Although, phone-wise, Disney usually has USB connectors yeah, next to the bed. Yeah, they don't have a so. of them. And then we've got a couple of case padlocks just for just coming back. Just in case. <laughs> just in case, yeah. <laughs> a selection of dry bags. I nearly called them wet bags. They have to keep things dry, though, yeah. so they're dry bags. So um, for water rides and yeah, and in like case that. we go to a park and don't put it in a lock, our stuff in a locker or whatever, then some stuff we might want to keep dry in my bag. So it might be useful for that. You never know. Yeah, basically as well, Kilimanjaro, not Kilimanjaro. What was the rapids called? Carly River. Carly rapids. River rapids. You're going to need like your passports in that. Yeah. I tend to carry my passport on me when we're in the parks and when we've driven there, because if you get stopped while driving, they expect you to have ID on you. So, so we've got a laundry bag to make things more organized on the way back. Ooh, delicates. Then in the next pouch, we have more delicates. No Wait. need for seeing all of those. Not for your eyes. T-shirts, which <clears throat> I'm sure I will now do a great job of unrolling them all and unfolding them all well. and making... Um, Megan, that is very mm, anxious. But it's not my problem. Once it's back in your case, it's not my problem. So, I have my Captain America t-shirt. No, no, this is the other one, actually. This is my Avengers Avengers! Captain America top. Hopefully, this time, I got it right. I did! Hooray! Hooray! We'll all congratulate him. Nuka-Cola top. Can you tell I'm a fan of Fallout? No, I, I didn't twig, if I'm honest. No, I have my Jurassic Park top. Although I'm on the fence about whether I take this one or not. Well, what would you take instead? I wouldn't. I was contemplating whether I had too many t-shirts. So that is my case, plus or minus, another pouch <laughs> that I just forgot. You were too close, quick for the gimbal. We take lint rollers with us. 
It's the perils of being a cat person that all your stuff gets covered in cat hair. Yeah. Should we, uh, perils? We cat. love our cat. <laughs> Pampered princess. But our clothes do end up a little bit cat hairy sometimes, so we take that on holiday. And if they get linty anyway, then we can clean them up. Yeah. This sun cream we realised yeah, we don't day. need. We have aerosol sun cream from Target. This is the one we've, we've used, used before out there. It's the sport sunscreen. You. I swear by it. it S I don't P burn. S P F fifty. I have scalp sun cream for when my hair is shorter, which it soon will. Oh be. yeah, you won't look like that for long because I'm buzzing it. He just gets this from Home Bargains or Amazon. So I don't know where we got to. The we phone got, rang. The phone rang, and. Um, We'll just continue from here. If we're missing something, we're missing something. But I don't think we are. I think we were just waffling. Your cane. My just cane. in case. Yeah, this cane came from Walmart in 2022 because, again, I managed to get blisters and... It's 2023, May. Maybe. No, was May it May that we got the cane? So May. I got blisters. It was painful. And because of how painful, it altered how I walked, which then hurt my back. It was just like a domino effect. So we got a cane and then the same, th we thought, well, from now on, we'll just bring it with us. And the same thing happened last year. Because you got blisters. Because I got blisters. So we're hoping that that thing doesn't see the light of day this trip. It's way in time. It's way in time for the two cases. So that's we're allowed how much? We're allowed 23. Reset and lift. You've got to be a bit gentle with it. If not, it overweighs slightly. This is 13 and a half kilos. Nice. For the two cases and all the stuff that's in it. So we've got another nine and a half kilos. Very nice. Usable space. Back with my case. This was a Walmart original, I think, isn't it? It's from oh. the brand Skyline. I feel like this one was actually the Target one. Oh. The Walmart one was janky. Is slightly jankier, although neither of them actually stand up and wheel that well. But the, the purple version that we got does not stand up; it'll just fall. And Story. we're going to do our trips to the supermarket to buy essentials for things like doing Thanksgiving with your parents. Yeah, because we host Thanksgiving every. This will be our third year hosting Thanksgiving. There's yeah. Anyone that hasn't watched, my dad is American. He was born and raised in Texas. I was born in Texas and moved over here when I was six months, I think I was. My mum is British. So we are a product of the American Air Force. <laughs> so, yeah, that means we love all things America. I've passed it on to Adam and he loves all things America. But we like to host Thanksgiving to bring a bit of that American this back for my dad as well. We like to cook old family recipes that he's like, ah, oh, peach I enjoy cobbler. My cooking. Yeah, Adam likes co cobbler. I nearly said cooking. Well, I'm no, not I, the... I said cooking. I like my cooking is what I said. Yeah, but I nearly said cobbler. I also Me... like my cobbler. <laughs> yeah. Cobbler, pecan pie and pumpkin pie. If you're coming to Thanksgiving with us, you're getting one of each thing. And ice cream. You. And ice cream. You've got to have it with ice cream. Warm with ice cream. We usually get stove top top stove top stuffing as well oh, yeah, that's because good. we like the american stuffing mix so long story short that's why we need case space yeah. anyway what we're all here for cases that's as exciting <laughs> i know adam's turn around and show your face right now is he proud to be married to me or what the crin i'm 31 going on 32 i've become cringy i got a really white hair here as well it's very silver Oh, it, it was turning like a light grey. And then today I looked and I was like, Bride of Frankenstein who? Jeez. Oh, I need to show you what I'm packing. Um, this is my neck pillow. 2020, no. 2014 in the Disney store in MCO, Orlando Airport. I bought it. It's Haunted Mansion Disney themed. And it oh, looks like that. But it means your neck doesn't die on the flight back. No, everything else might, but my neck will be fine. We have my makeup bag, which I do not put on a lot of makeup at the best of times. In a hot country, if I'm sweating, no, it's just too much. So I have my cellar water. I have mascara. I wear, this is where 
I'm going to look cheap. Maybelline over the top mascara, but I get it in Home Bargains, $3.99. Jobs are good. Un. Tweezers. That's a, another must. I have my eyeliner. I have the uh, Smolder Coal eyeliner from Soap and Glory. I, I don't know if they've discontinued this or not, but last time I saw like three and they had no others, I just bought them all up because I've been wearing this for like a decade. The cat just went on the counter. So this is not everything because like a lot of my other products I'm still using. Like I have an eyebrow brush that I only have one of and that'll go in there on Monday. So sort of skincare and makeup stuff. Yeah, I have my Boots Vitamin C Brightening Eye Gel. Right, you get a load of that. Eye bag sufferers, if you get dark circles, get some of this. It's not, it's not a miracle but it does actually work at brightening under your eyes if you look a little bit tired. Um, and then I get this from B&M, no, Home Bargains. It's the Malibu SPF. I've got the face cream, which is 50 SPF, and the lip care, which is 30. And I've worn this every time I've gone to Florida since 2022, and it does the job. I will be adding in the face sun cream that I have been wearing which is the Garnier Ombre Solaire Super UV Vitamin C Anti-Dark Spots Fluid 50 Plus. Now I will say, I think I need the Hyaluronic Acid one and not this one, but I'm not gonna buy that till because these aren't cheap. These are like 14 pounds. Um, but it is quite a good day-to-day -day facial SPF because we need to be protecting our face, especially in Florida. You're very hot on your skin here. Yeah. And this is why your skin is nice. Oh, thank you. Why, thank you. That was nice. Then I have this Powerpuff Girls. Oh, you, did you hear that? Pow <laughs> I think I'm an ASMR channel. Powerpuff Girls thing. I think this came from Primark a while ago. In here, I have a brush. Is this a Tangle Teaser? No. Tangle Free by Color. It's just like a Tangle Teaser. Um, this is my uh, facial toner. I've bought Boy out the big guns. Um, this is a refreshing cooling mist. It's like menthol spray almost. You like spray your skin if you overheat. It actually does do well. So I'm gonna give that a try. That I got in Home Bargain. No, yes I did. I bought it on Amazon first, but Home Bargains were selling for 99p instead of whatever Amazon was charging. Your girl is lactose intolerant and sometimes you need this. And this one is quite cheap. This is pretty... I, I was loyal to Imodium, but I'm not loyal to the price point. If you go to B&M or Home Bargains, this one, the Instants, they work just like Imodium Instants. I've, I've, trust me, I've tried them all. If you're caught out and anyone that suffers with any gut issues, IBS, you'll know the situation. It's like one pound fifty nine for a box instead of six instead pounds of six or pounds or something. So I am stocked on these. I don't want to have to use any of them. And they don't sell the instants in the US. They don't have instants. We've Not tried. We found. They just have normal pills, and that doesn't work quick enough for me, especially if you're in Epcot and you're walking around the World Showcase and you're getting caught short. You need instant. So, is it TMI? Is it just helping out? We all do it. Everybody poops. And the only other thing I have in here is this is from the Cream Shop brand. I th we got it, mum, my mum got it for me in TK Maxx. It is very like comical. It's basically, you put ice in it and it's an ice pack for when you get hot head bumps, whatever. And last year, I got extremely overheated in Universal and had to be seen by the medics. And what the, he did was put ice in a bag and put it on the back of my neck to help cool me down. And it did wonders. So I'm bringing this so that if the same happens to me, we could just ask for a cup of ice and put it in here. Jobs are good. Jobs are good. And anyone that has any sort of chronic illness, you need all of these kind of trinkets. Yeah. Not trinkets, like... If not, that will end in migraines and a bad day for you. Yeah, and I don't want to end up with another migraine in Florida. So, I mean, 
it's pretty much inevitable, but we can all touch Let's wood. Let's try and prevent it. I have this dress, which I've kept in an old Dollar Tree or Publix bag because I need to make sure that I remember that this is not a good dress to wear out because it's got a stain on it, but this is what I'm going to wear to the water parks. A whole box of lens cleaning wipes. I have cotton buds. I have this um, is the Boots Witch Hazel Gel. Very good for spots. It's very good for drying them out. If you're a spot picker like me, putting it on a freshly picked spot, and it does tend to go down within 24 hours. If you're not a spot picker like Adam, you put it on and it will dry up your spot. You just might, it might take a little bit longer than the spot pickers. Uh, cotton rounds, basic. We have my hair dryer and diffuser. This was a Walmart or Target purchase. Yeah, this is a US voltage a US hair dryer. Because your hair dryer will not work in the US. Well, it's unlikely to. It will, it will just, voltage it, hair dryer. it literally is just like, doesn't dry anything. Check that your hair dryer works with 110 volts. If it doesn't, then Disney has them. But if you want a diffuser, then... Yeah, so Disney does have normal hair dryers. But if you're a curly girl and someone that needs a diffuser, they do not have diffusers. So I just bought a hair dryer and it's, this is year two that we're using it, isn't it? Yeah. And it does the trick, so... It was just the budget one in yeah, Target, just a, I feel like. Oh, it's a Conair. I have another Powerpuff Girls pouch and it's full of pins for trading. I'm really hoping to trade some pins. Like a lot of these pins are from my trip in 2014 where me and my sister went overboard with blind bags and now I'm stuck with a bunch of the same pins. So I'm gonna get some pin trading in. We have makeup wipes, again, home bargains, two for a pound. These are just the facial wipes with cucumber extract and pro vitamin B5. You're not a big fan of the tea tree ones, are you? I'm not a fan of a lot of them because too much, it's too much for my skin. These are delicates. I do have another delicate to put in here somewhere. It's just a Disney night dress. I won't show you it because <laughs> I do this thing where I cut holes into my 90s if I'm bored and it does not look pretty. I don't know why I do it. My pajama trousers are the worst for it. I just like cutting fabric. Here's my laundry pouch. Here's my clothings. I will show you what I have. I won't unroll them. So we have dress. This is like little purple flowers and cherries. We have, it's still smell. I got that one on vintage and it, whatever that person had, whether they use those like fabric beads or they have strong perfume, it is embedded in this and it smells nice, but it's very strong. I'm sure once you wash it with some Tide or something, it'll go yeah. away. Uh, another black dress, this is my longer black dress. This is a good version of that dress. It's just got these, this is one of those dresses that I think I'm going to wear for one of our meal dining things nice. because anyone, You'll, you'll get a hint. This kind of dress is going to be perfect for the certain characters that we're going to meet on that dining thing. And then I have a new swimsuit. Haven't worn it yet. Well, I've, I've tried it on. I've not worn it because my other one got too big. So skinny problems. Well, I'm bloated at the moment, but a second version of this dress. And I know this one was my original one because the labels cut out. I hate labels in clothing. It's just too itchy. And then the other dress that I'm taking, I mean, all of these I've taken on holiday nigh on before, is just this. It turns out that when you go on holiday for 10 to 14 days, you take a lot of your wardrobe with you. So it's well, inevitable. It's actually like a fraction of my wardrobe. I'm just one of those, I don't know if anyone else is like it. I wear the same things on repeat and then forget that I have a whole wardrobe. I only ever open one of the doors. I have the waterproof foam pouch. This. They sell these at Typhoon Lagoon themselves. You just sl slot your phone in and keeps it dry. I do not recommend getting your phone out until after you've left the water park because I've made that mistake before and then gotten water in there. A little phone ring light, which I will turn on. It's dead. I have got the charger, so don't worry. I've got a little tiny pair of scissors. 
and some double-sided tape because I have a little tra travel like a journal that I started on our honeymoon that I want to keep going. Uh, plug thing, migraine patches. They do sell. We have found that they do sell. Uh, it's not the same brand. It's probably the American equivalent equivalent of this brand but they do sell them in america so i don't take as many i just have the equivalent of two there's like three of these in here and then one so again if you're a migraine sufferer they are quite necessary we have my trusty toiletry pouch which i've had for yonks i have some hair clips hair bands and in here i have three razors I've got my weatherproof curls that I wear. I've got an empty spray bottle. I have scrunching gel. These are all Umberto Gianni. I've just started using this one, the Umber Umberto Gianni Curl Whip. I've switched from this, from the John Frieda one because the John Frieda one seems to either be not making batches or being discontinued. But this, wonderful, and you don't need as much. And then the Umberto Gianni Curl Jelly Shine Leave-In Conditioner. Then I have still got the John Frieda Curl Shampoo and Conditioner. See, Adam can just use the hotel stuff. I take my own. I've got parting comb and a wide tooth comb. And this is just a shower cap that we took from our hotel in the last trip, just in case. I one. don't wash my hair, which I'm probably going to wash my hair every day. Heat, you'll probably want to feel nice. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's everything in here. I'm going to pack it all up, then we can weigh it. I will warn you, this is probably going to go really badly. I'm terrible at doing this. Ah, uh, close enough. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, I hiccuped. Right. Let's see how heavy this one is. Just under 15. Well, that's pretty good. So that's everything we're taking with us to Florida. We have also got a carry on like backpack each, but because we're not going till Monday, there's still a couple of bits that we're still using, like headphones and laptops and things like that. So we will show you what's in our travel backpacks on pre travel day, which you will see next week. I hope you liked this little video and seeing what we're taking to Florida. Maybe you picked up some tips. Maybe you just enjoyed having the rambling the and having it on in the background. Thanks for watching. See you for pre travel day. Oh, he usually likes to tell you all the stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I tell you the stuff. The stuff is liking and subscribing and all of that good stuff. All of that good stuff. So, see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.